for a certain point P, or for any point P, a single point P, let's remember that big R is constant and little r varies with position in the slit, in the aperture. So we can see what that's going to do to our DEP. Let's see. Oh, what was it? It was EA, that's a constant. DA, that's for our integral. And then it was little r, and then E to the J, uh, I was doing omega t minus kr. Little r. They're all, both little r because the Howans wavelet is at a distance little r. Now what we want to do though is think about which one matters. So it's kind of like for the single slit, this is the amplitude. <coughs> the difference in the total distance big R and little r is very small. Very small effect on the amplitude. So what we're going to do is exchange that for big R. And we're going to say the amplitude dependence is constant. We don't have to deal with that in the integral, just like before. However, here, just like for the slit, when you're talking about the difference, uh, we're talking about little r times k, the differences between little r and big R are significant compared to the wavelength. So it, it does matter for the phase. So the phase needs little r. So we can't take everything out of the integral because then the problem would be trivial. Okay, so if the phase needs a little r, we have to do this integral as a little r changes. We want to um, write little r in terms of something we're going to integrate with respect to, which is a little x and a little y. And big X and big Y and big Z. When we do our integral, we're going to do it in that Cartesian coordinate system. We're going to integrate in the plane of the aperture in X and Y, so clearly we then we need to write little r in terms of x and y. So we sort of did that here. Let's see, we had um, big x minus little x squared, big y minus little y squared, z squared. So we're just going to go ahead and expand that and get that little r is the square root of, let's see, you'll have the big x squared, and you'll have the big y squared, and you'll have the big z squared, and then you'll have a couple of uh, the cross terms. So big x minus little x squared then has minus 2xx xx, right, and minus 2yy, y. and then plus, it has a little x squared and a little y squared, plus little y squared, and no little z squared, because little z is always equal to zero, okay? And let's see, what are we going to do? We are going to pull out a big R, all right? So, Let's, uh, yeah, divide out by a big R. So little r equals big R times the square root of something. Let's see, if we pull out uh, a big R, that means we pulled out a big R squared out of here. Well, this is big R squared, right? So the x squared plus y squared plus z squared makes one, right? And then we have, these two both have a two in front of them, so we can write two x x plus y, y, the minus 2 goes there. That's divided by r squared. So that's that term. And then we have the plus little x, sorry, little x plus little y squared divided by r squared. Like that. All right. Nothing bad has happened yet. Now something bad is going to happen. So now we have uh, the fact that Big X, big Y, and big Z are big numbers. They're the whole distance to the screen. The little X and little Y are little numbers. They're the, inside the little aperture. So if you look here, and R is a big number. So here we have little number squared over big number squared. That's small. And here we have big number times little number over little big number squared. That's not as small. Right? So this is very, very small. This is less small because we have one, the power of something small to the first power, and here we have it squared. So what I'm awkwardly trying to say is that we ignore that term. That term is approximately uh, zero, okay? So we just have this part. And now we have binomial theorem. We have the square root of one minus something small. When you have the square root of one minus something small, you can say it's equal to one plus the something small. It's just one of the many small number um, approximations that we use. So R equals 
big R times 1 minus the small thing x, x plus y, y over big R squared, like that. And the units all work out. It's not that small. There we go. It's not a subscript. It's a y. Right? Everything works out. So we apply the binomial theorem, then uh, we get something like that. So now we're making progress. This almost looks so unintimidating, I might be willing to do an integral.